Hello everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. I'm Beast Demon and I just found out that I'm a cheater. Yeah guys, I can't believe that I'm actually a cheater. But let me let me give you a, a little backstory first. So when we started the server, we had people apply to be in our tribe. One of those people was this 19 year old. Now, you know, of course on paper he seemed pretty cool and he said the right things and all that good stuff. So we were like, alright. now. Vixen and I already knew that uh, more than likely we were going to have issues with at least one person. It didn't take long for me and Vixen to figure out that this kid was going to be it. Just to give you examples, apparently, you know, I mean, he was talking a little bit of smack about him playing PvP. Apparently he's played PvP forever, blah, blah, blah. And uh, PvE players, they don't know how to build. I did see a lot of these conversations when uh, he was having them with uh, another tribe mate of ours. And apparently he didn't realize that I was on or, or he just didn't care. But yeah, he was saying stuff and I was, you know, whatever. So anyways, when we first started, he built a small building. At that time, uh, of course, Vixen and I had only built a, a little building made out of wood just so we could keep our pteranodons, but nobody was in the server at the time. And he was actually the first that we had in. So he ended up building a middle building and when I first saw it, you know, I was like, okay, this is pretty typical. Now, don't forget, I've played PvP, but I have always played uh, solo and I've always had to depend on guerrilla warfare because obviously I didn't have much. Now, for somebody that doesn't have much, you have to make everything that you have count. Obviously, I would have a sniper, a shotgun, a few bolas, obviously C4, uh, flamethrower, you know, things like that. Just the, the stuff that you need. And so if I went after an alpha, because that, that was usually my goal is to go and troll alphas. And I would always try to look for their weak spots and try to get in as close as possible to their buildings. And I found that a lot of people that build reinforce everything but if you go towards uh, smaller tribes or even other single players I found that a lot of people on PvP that play solo or play with uh, just a couple of people build these small buildings they put double doors and they don't do anything to the rest of their building which is kind of weird and so what I like to do is I like to go through anywhere but the front, bust in, you know, put, uh, I, I believe, three or four C4s, I believe it's three. And it basically busts the their wall and boom, I'm in. There, there's no double walls. There's no, I mean, it's just so easy to get in. And this is exactly how this kid built his building. I thought, okay, well, you know, that's interesting, especially from somebody that talks so big. So I'll go ahead and build some uh, turrets and put them up so at least it's protected because uh, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, and by then we already had some people in, in the server. So, I mean, not that anybody was going to come in and attack right away, but better safe than sorry. So then I started working on another building where I was actually going to, that was going to be our main little factory where I was going to have the industrial forges, I was going to have you know, everything, everything that we needed to do stuff with. But also, I was going to keep certain dinos in there. And from my experience, whenever I go after someone, nothing makes me more mad than hitting a building and, you know, using up some of my C4. I get into the building finally, I kill a few Pteranodons, and then there's more walls to go through. And nothing is more annoying than that because it's like, okay, I bust through the door and sometimes I have to deal with turrets, uh, sometimes I don't, and they have more pteranodons in there. And so I kill them. You know, you're always limited to time because obviously <laughs> when people see their stuff dying, they're going to come right away. Then I see another wall and basically what they do is they do like a honeycomb of just walls and they put uh, several pteranodons in these little rooms and that way they always have you know something to use 
and I thought, man, that is that's that's pretty slick. That's pretty smart. It uses up a lot of our resources, and, and as a single player, you don't have that much C4. You don't carry that much C4 on you, and all that good stuff. But anyways, I thought, well, this is kind of typical. Maybe because he knows there's not that many people. Maybe he just did it for that reason, and maybe he's gonna beef it up later. I built my building, and during one of those uh, times that I was on, and I was just grinding, he was talking to another tribe mate, basically saying how awkward the building that I was building was. He didn't even understand it, and and all this stuff. And so that's when I realized, hmm, like what are we dealing with here? Because if he doesn't understand that, I mean, and he has been in uh, PvP all this time, like what the hell is going on? Right? I mean, uh, something just doesn't make sense. Or maybe he's just always used to the whole alpha thing where lots of people do stuff and maybe he's not the one that builds. Because, uh, I, like I said, I just I, haven't, I hadn't seen anything that impressed me. Like, I just didn't. And so I was going to be working on uh, a lot of different things, but I found myself uh, stretched pretty thin. And because I, initially I was going to do the towers, I was going to adorn them with with turrets, you know, the, the typical thing that alphas do. So I have a pretty good idea of what to do. And then we, I was going to do some sniper towers, uh, but I never got the chance to, to finish any of that because I, uh, of course, I did that building. And then when I logged in the next day, it was full of dinos. They were all low level. Now, he had an issue with that because he said uh, that he wouldn't even bother with any low level stuff. But, you know, that's weird because, I mean, in order for you to get the best stats, you would need kibble. And to me, it wouldn't make any sense to go after high level stuff uh, when they're just going to be laying eggs. While you wait to uh, tame one high level thing uh, with raw meat, or if it's a uh, herbie, then uh, berries, I can tame three things, you know, at the same amount of time. So that's why it just didn't make any sense. And I'm like, okay, uh, that's not being efficient. And remember, we're all about it being efficient because there has always been just two players. And to be honest, I mean, Vixen just doesn't have that much time. So the majority of the time, it would just be me. But when she's on, I mean, she would crank out stuff like crazy. She takes down a bunch of dinos at the same time, not just one. And we're always thinking, okay, if there's a uh, high level, like let's say Rex, and we take that down, and there's a whole bunch of other little stuff that we don't have that we need for eggs then we take that down too and then we have a whole bunch of dinos i mean and that's how i always do it I, that's i mean we've shown you guys that plenty of times but anyways so this guy you know nothing but high level nothing but high level okay whatever he's been spending a lot of time you know taming he's been uh racing wyverns and you know he puts his little name on on all these dinos and, and stuff and at first we thought, oh, that's weird because uh, when we tamed whatever we tamed, like I tamed the Quetz, and I didn't put a name on it, I just was, you know, it's for everybody to use. But then everybody started to put their names on their stuff, and I was like, okay, well I guess we gotta put our names on them. Apparently, right off the bat, you kind of feel like, okay, there's, there's like some kind of division here between tribe members, and uh, you know, that, that's kind of different for us. So moving on, uh, he had wyvern, so he wanted to build a building. Now, remember, we needed a kibble farm. For whatever reason, he decided to do a building just for his wyverns. And it was like 19 by 14, I think. And so he went ahead and did, and did that. Now, when he was talking about building this building, I was already working on, on metal. I was already grinding like crazy on metal. I figured, okay, well, you know, let me go take a look at this building. See how cool it is. I want to see uh, how well built it is. But uh, it was just a box. And then he puts these little ramps on the outer part, which makes no sense to me because then I would just bust the top. I mean, it just it made, it made no sense. I mean, no turrets, nothing. It's just it's just weird. It wouldn't be very hard to get in there. So, anyways, I, I went ahead and decided to build the actual kibble farm because we still had a lot of dinos in that other little building and the little building is way too small and we couldn't even put the larger uh, dinos anywhere so and we did get attacked and uh, apparently one of um, actually a couple of our dinos died so I decided okay I'll go ahead and build it 
But uh, just from my experience, you know, I went ahead and built something that I would not be able to get into very easily. In fact, it would be extremely, extremely hard for somebody to get in there. So if we get attacked, it's going to have to be by a large force in order to bust into that building. And now I'm not even anywhere close to being done, but I went ahead and, and put it up. And the building itself is 19 by 23. I realized that I was going to use uh, around 437 foundations, which is roughly around 22,000 ingots. As you can see, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to numbers. So I kind of figured exactly how many ingots I was going to need just to do the building itself, which came to around 69,000 ingots. I had to figure out, uh, you know, the most effective way possible to do this. And we have Structures Plus. So I'll go ahead and put a building right next to a spot that has a lot of metal and then use the transfer tool. So I don't even need a high level Anki, although if I had a high level Anki, which I did, but uh, I was letting them use it. Um, I figured I would have, you know, a hell of a lot of ingots, but uh, I found this uh, level 40 when I was building my little building next to this uh, metal cave. And so I decided, oh, I'll just take you down and keep on working on my little building. And, uh, and that's what I did. So by the time I got done with a little building, I was ready to go. It, it was, you know, ready and I needed a few levels to get to where I could actually build an industrial forge. So I just used regular forges for, uh, for the time being. And once I reached uh, the level that I needed, then I put in uh, the forge, which the beauty about uh, Structures Plus is that you can move stuff around, pick it up. It's nice. You don't have to demolish. So I started working and I average uh, between six and seven thousand ingots per hour but of course the reason being is that this server is at four times so it's boosted so if we were in uh, just normal a normal server then obviously <laughs> it would be a lot harder but um, you know so we it would just take us longer to grind it we would still be able to do it because I mean you'll know I mean <laughs> we built really really large in PvE so I went ahead and put the, that building up and apparently that became an issue to this guy because he didn't understand how I could possibly build something so large so fast. Now of course like I said before when he was running around uh, raising wyverns and taming I was working on metal. He was telling our other tribe mates that uh, basically I'm cheating that I'm spawning everything and uh, you know just a bunch of crap so basically I'm a cheater I don't know if you noticed but as I've been talking I've been showing you basically my process of how I do things but anyways uh, that's the drama that's been going on in LBN and now um, <laughs> this kid is still in our tribe we want to see what happens I would imagine that some drama major drama will be coming here soon uh, so we'll see uh, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.